Hi Lou. I want to thank you for sending in your samples for us to test on the Clicker 750 or the 700 and the 1500. I am going to do a couple of different demonstrations here for you. These are the samples that you sent in. Uh, I've already given these patterns to Jim so he can get the dies made for you. So we're on track with that. I just want to show you how simple it's going to be to cut this material with our press. Now, I'm going to do this with the 700. And we'll just set it on there, slide it up. Simply punch it right out. And it's going to leave you a nice clean cut just like that. See the inside cut is nice and clean. The edges are good. And also a little small rectangle here. Do that. And as you can see, the closer you get to the edge of the material, of course it's going to split out because I was right out on that corner. But as you can see, the edges are nice and clean. And we do have shoe sole patterns that we use. Just wanted to let you see that. Now, this is just a demonstration test. We cut everything from cardboard, uh, corrugated plastics, to cardboard, to vinyl, to foam, uh, to leather. Now, you were interested in some embossing. This is an embossing die that Owasso made for us. It has our logo on it, but we incorporated the cutting uh, piece around it. They would, they don't do this type of die. So, and this is made for a specific density of leather because it, the embossing, it can only cut so deep, but the embossing has to go a little bit deeper. So, the thickness of the Leather is going to determine the die design. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this on here. And I think I've got this thin leather folded up enough to show you what it can do. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the right size or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Alrighty. And as you can see, it cut it out. And the leather wasn't quite as thick as I needed it to be. It needed to be a little bit thicker like this fold to get a full impression, but that's, that's the way it works. Now, as far as regular embossing, these types of dies here, uh, this is a little Harley Davidson emblem I'm gonna try to show you how this works. Now I'm going to set this on here, but I'm not sure I've got the right thickness for this particular embossing die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down on top of here, and I'm going to put another on, piece on top just to see if that's going to be the right size. And it wasn't. So, we'll go ahead and we'll put another piece on. It's a little bit thicker. To see if that's going to make a difference here. And that one's not quite there either. So, we'll put another little piece on here as a shim. That one was just a little bit thinner also, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and Turn that over, put our die, embossing die on there. Uh, determining the thickness is the hardest part of using this to determine how thick you really want this 
and how deep you want your impression to be. And that one did great. I saw that one squeeze down in there. So, I didn't quite hold it long enough for the impression to stay. You can see how the impression worked. Uh, not quite as detailed as you'd like, but it may be the material. It's a little spongy, so you don't get the right impression on it. Uh, try it one more time here. In a different location. Yeah, that one did a little bit better because I added a little more thickness to it, as you can see. So that's how you do the embossing. But determining the, the depth that you need is the hard part. And we can figure that out for any application. I'll go ahead and send you this video over and we'll discuss your options. Thank you. <laughs>